welcome back to another TechMinds video. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at pirates who are hijacking US Navy communication satellites. Now, while this is not a new thing, it is, however, new to me. And I wanted to share my findings with you in this video, just in case you haven't come across this either. Now, I'm sure a lot of you hardcore SWLers have already come across this before, but I found this extremely interesting considering how long this has been going on for. Now, the satellites that I'm talking about here are the old fleet satellite communication system, which launched eight satellites between 1978 and 1989. Now, these satellites were originally designed to provide UHF communications for the US Navy between ships, submarines, airplanes, and ground stations. Each of these satellites had 12 transponders with a transmit antenna reflector diameter of 4.9 meters, which worked in the UHF range between 240 megahertz up to 400 megahertz. Now, most of these transponders on these satellites were simple repeaters with no authentication or control over what they retransmitted. Now, in the late 1990s, the fleet SATCOM satellites were gradually replaced by the UFO satellites, but currently, fleet SATCOM 7 and 8 continue to provide UHF communications. Now, it's not so much for the Navy, but pirates using modified radio equipment and home-brewed antennas are still using these satellites today for illegal communication. Now, it's been said that the majority of unauthorized traffic is coming from radio users in Brazil, including criminals, drug dealers, illegal loggers, truckers, and individuals located in remote areas. Now, there was a moment in time when these pirates got busted by the Brazilian Federal Police. But today, this kind of illegal activity is being met with limited law enforcement action. Now, after learning about all this, I never thought that my current equipment setup would be able to receive these transmissions from Fleet Sat. Well, I was wrong. Using a dual band collinear antenna on the chimney of my home, I was able to pick up a faint, distant signal. After tuning around the bands, I managed to find some transmissions which were audible. Now using a filter plugin on SDR Sharp, I narrowed the bandwidth to around 3 kHz, which led me to hear those pirates hijacking fleet SATCOM satellites from thousands and thousands of miles away. Of course, the antenna that I'm using is not perfect for this band, but it worked. So let's go ahead and take a listen to what they sound like. Now you can see here that these two guys were chatting to each other were quite not on the same frequency. So I had to manually adjust the frequency that I was listening to so I could hear the whole conversation. Now to me, it even appeared that one guy was using an echo chamber for his audio, something that we commonly find on the CB radio bands. Now I wasn't able to understand what these people were saying. Maybe one of you guys might be able to understand and, and let me know what they were talking about. But as mentioned before, the majority of traffic comes from the Brazil region. So it's quite possible that this was Portuguese, although I'm not 100% sure. So I mentioned the antenna which I was using earlier, and no doubt an antenna designed for this frequency and actually pointing to the satellites would make these signals a lot stronger and clearer. 
Now the software used here is SDR Sharp from AirSpy and the SDR receiver used here was an AirSpy R2 which is a VHF and UHF SDR receiver. Now this AirSpy R2 was kindly sent to me from AirSpy to test out and if you're interested in purchasing one you can contact Moonraker here in the UK or look at their website moonraker.eu for further information. Anyhow guys, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did learning about this. Hopefully in the new future I will start a new series on antennas and maybe even build one specifically for listening to these fleet satcom. Now if you have Twitter, please follow me on Twitter, handle will be down in the description and if you haven't already, please check out my Amazon wishlist and my Patreon page, all the links will be down in the description of this video. Until the next video guys, take care and I'll see you in the next one.